Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel Skyrim and the Dawnguard DLC. Okay, so we've been fighting vampires, and that means on occasions we're going to contract something called Sanguarin or Sanguinaire, sorry, a vampiris. Now, this is a disease that eventually accumulates in vampirism and is typically contracted when attacked by a vampire, um, either with physical attacks or being subjected to their vampiric drain spell. Um, if you're attacked by a vampiric drain, there's a 10% chance, chance of infection. Now, vampirism comes in four stages of severity. The severity of the infection increases the longer the vampire goes without drinking blood. Vampirism is a syndrome that is acquired after the disease sang sanguinaire vampiris has infected the body longer than three in-game days. So let's take a quick look at what we can do within those first three days. Okay, let's just have a, a quick look at the effects of sanguinaire vampiris. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, reduce health. Uh, sorry, as it progresses, you'll get more reductions on stamina, etc, uh, etc. Et so the first thing we're going to do is look at uh, a potion of cure diseases. Take one of those. Okay, and we'll have a look at the effects again. And it's all gone. There you go, that's cured. It's all done within the first three days. So let's have a look at making a potion okay now uh, just a quick note you don't need any special alchemy gear to make this uh, the ingredients are one of the uh, two of the following um, uh, charred skeever hide felsard turn feathers hawk feathers mud crab chitin or vampire dust any two of those will work Okay, just knock them up. Now, mud crab chi chi um, <laughs> chitin and charred skeever hide are clearly the two of the most common ones. And as you saw, saw before, just literally take it, bang, and, and you're clear. The second is garlic bread. Now, with a half hour DLC, uh, garlic bread can be crafted at an oven with uh, the following ingredients uh, one garlic, one butter and one bread. Now this will produce two loaves of garlic bread. Uh, now it's only worth noting this recipe only works with a full loaf. Garlic bread has several advantages and disadvantages compared to the potion of cured disease. Uh, while the potion has the advantage of being craftable early on with at any alchemy table, its ingredients aren't always commonly found. Whereas the ingredients for garlic bread appear in many cities and cost le uh, less to purchase than a potion of cured diseases. Creating garlic bread also produces two loaves, as opposed to one potion. And the weight of a potion is equal to five loaves. Um, the primary downside of obtaining garlic bread is that it requires a fair amount of time and money to invest in buying a home and building a kitchen to cook it. But as you can see, take the garlic bread and you're clear. The third and the easiest option is to go to any shrine uh, and activate it. And that will immediately clear your infection. All disease is cured, as you can see. However, what happens if you've actually gone too far? Well, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough now of actually how you cure full-blown vampirism. You can see I'm still infected. Okay. So if you've gone over the three days uh, mark, you're going to have to uh, do what's called the uh, Rising Dawn quest. Um, and that happens in Morthal. Now you start this quest by speaking to any uh, bar owner. Um, and they will actually start it for you. Now, I'd always suggest when you start the Dawn God, get yourself hold of a filled black soul gem. Uh, just in case you need to do this. But if you haven't got one, that's not a problem. I'll show you what to do. Okay, I'm going straight to Morthal to the inn there to start it, just for convenience sake. But you can start it in any dawn. In any dawn? Any, any inn. <laughs> yeah. Not good at words. 
<laughs> okay, just pop into the inn. Hello, my friend. Oh, I think that's someone stirring. Yep, there you go. Good to see you. And heard any rumours lately. That should start it. They say Falian of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. There you go. And I started rising at dawn. Super. Drinks so now we can speak to Falian. For the hungry. I just want to see if they got any butter. Occasionally they do sell it for the uh, the garlic bread recipe. So keep your eyes open for that because actually butter is not that easy to find. Um, if you've got a kitchen in your half hour home, uh, then you should pick it up. Oh, my blood is boiling. But it gets see uh, failing pretty quickly. If you're here to purchase, I have many spells available. Do come in. My friend died. Things won't be the same without her. I've come to find out who that is. Um, I heard you're an expert in vampirism. I know many things. I've studied things beyond the reach of most humans. Traveled the oblivion plains, seen things one should not see. I have met Daedra and Dwemer and everything in between, and I know enough to see a vampire where others would see a man. I'm looking for a cure. Or, if you want to, I met several how can you be so sure I'm a vampire? My studies of life-extending magics. I even considered becoming a vampire myself. In the end, vampirism would endanger my ward Agni, which would defeat the intended purpose. I'm looking for it. It is here. possible. I know of a ritual, but have never performed it. It requires a filled black soul gem. You will need to kill someone. When you have a gem and have filled it, return to me and I will perform the ritual. I will bring life to your dead body, vampire. Okay, so you need a black, um, a filled black soul gem. Now, if you haven't got one, order to keep ask him. So what have we you got for sale? To master the arcane arts. Now you can buy the spell tome you need. He's got a lot of spell tomes, by the way. Uh, for uh, you're looking for the soul trap uh, spell tome. But yeah, he's got loads and loads of a uh, decent. Uh, Spell times you can buy here. Okay, so you can buy that if you want to. And also, you can buy an empty uh, black soul gem. So then you can go off, and I'd always suggest kill a bandit if you're role playing. Obviously, if you don't care, then just go and kill anybody, and you can heal. Uh, Very well. You know, fill it. And Meet if you have one, just say I have fulfilled black soul gem. Dawn. We shall banish the creature you have become. Till next time. Okay. Now what you've got to do now is uh, meet him at a certain location at dawn. Okay. To get there, we just need to literally, it's a very short uh, trip. And there's a few mud crabs around and stuff like that, but it's, it's not a particularly dangerous journey. My mother and father died years ago. Valiant takes care of me now. I wonder why he's talking about his friend died. I've, I've looked around on, on, on forums and stuff. I can't find um, what the story is with that. There's obviously something that's been taken out of the game. Um, and uh, if anybody knows, uh, please let me know because it really intrigued me. Okay, keep on heading this way. Oh, miss. There you go. Well, oh, he's quite a tough mud crab. A 
Okay, these are the ritual stones. I think they're ritual stones now. I think that's what they're called. Uh, yeah, so, meet them at dawn. So, we have to uh, wait until uh, tomorrow's dawn. That'll do. I don't know exactly what time dawn is in, in this area. And here he is. And just talk to him. Good, you're here. Let's get this over with. Desire. I call upon oh, chop, chop. oblivion realms, the home of those who are not our ancestors. Answer my plea. As in death, there is new life. In oblivion, there is a beginning for that which has ended. I call forth that power. Accept the soul that we offer. As the sun ends the night, end the darkness of this soul. Return life to the creature you see before you. Ritual is complete. And that's it. We're now cured. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you found it useful. Uh, so don't forget, garnet bread, make a whole load of that, nom it, and the potions as well. Okay, it saves you going through all this hassle. But if you do go past the three days, or you just want to stop being a vampire, this is how you do it. See you later, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.